Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Gordon. You're watching This Is How I Did It. Um, this is going to be video number three on our water wheel. Um, so we've got two other videos that us building the water wheel. Well, on this third one, we finalized all the stuff on it. We um, we welded the spindle into place. We put the outer piece of plywood on over the, the belt pulley thingamajiggy where the belt's going to ride and we put the posts in the creek and then we mounted that water wheel on those posts put the bearings on it get it some bitch a spin actually we used a hose um i did it once put the hose on it and i was getting about one rotation of that seven and a half foot water wheel one rotation about every second and a half two seconds maybe and then we did it again, had my son hold the hose back a little bit farther, so it was more of a an arc into it. And he got it to about three seconds per rotation. So I'm probably going to have to slow it down. Um, so basically the water we're going to need to run this is minute. I would say maybe a one-inch line if I were to do a PVC line. I mean, it... We could probably get away with a four-inch line, it wouldn't, and it wouldn't dry dry up our creek. But in the winter, it's running too fast. Um, as you'll see in the video, it's I mean it's it's cooking. Uh, we took, and it's okay. This wheel is so heavy that once we took the water off of it and it just sat there and spun, it spun freewheeling with nothing feeding it for 10, 12 minutes before it stopped. We have a video of it actually finally stopping and then balancing out and stopping. Um, but it, it was 10 to 12 minutes after we took the water off before it stopped. At least 12 minutes, I think. Because I came up, took all my tools back up to the shop, took the tractor back up to the house, went in the house, got some water, Came back out, and my wife was looking at it, saying, Why is it, what's feeding it? And I'm like, nothing's feeding it. It's at least 12, 12 minutes. Anyway, guys, I digress. Give us a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Go back on our playlist. Look for the water wheel playlist. You'll see us building this whole thing. Um, it's been a lot of fun building this. Now, the next steps is going to be putting the generator on it, doing a bunch of tests on some different generators, seeing what actually works. we got a couple of them cheap three phase things off Amazon we're going to test those which I'm pretty sure they're just BS but we got a couple of those we're going to test those and then I'm probably going to end up buying probably going to end up buying a pretty good sized one you know up in the $1500 range kind of deal um, and then shoot then I got power lines to feed up to the house and anyway I digress let's get on with it give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button Alrighty, we went up and we welded the plate on. So basically there was a two inch hole where the big rod for the cable reel went through. We have one inch rod, or actually the hole was like two and a half, three inches. So we weld our one inch rod on there, both sides. We basically measured from here to the inside rod, from there to the inside rod, from there to there, and from down there to there, and put it right in the middle. And I think it was uh, 44 and 5 eighths, both sides. Um, and lo and behold, we had it on a level floor. We put a level on it. It actually thought it was level. And then on this side, after we got that all done, we put the plywood back on this side, which is the runner for the belt. And I actually found a belt big enough for this thing on Amazon. I'll put a tag on that. Anyway, lo and behold... So one of my worries was finding a belt actually big enough to do this. I actually found a belt on Amazon for 30 bucks, 30 35 dollars. That should be more than enough to get me down to a motor generator sitting down here. And I'll put a tag for that. It's I um, got it on Amazon. I think it was like 33 bucks or 36 bucks, something like that. I was kind of surprised. Okay, so today we're working up here on the where the water wheel is going to sit on. I took the track and dug two trenches. So basically from, from me out to the other pole. See those big rocks are? That's the middle of the, the part we didn't dig. And then over here on this side, we dug a trench that way. That way we could adjust these width-wise as much as we had to. Then I put 20 bags of concrete 
down in there, dry poured it, and put a little water on it. So we gotta let those sit, and tomorrow we'll uh, measure up our. First, we have to go off the height of the pond when it's the fullest. Right now, it's probably four inches low, maybe six inches low, as you can see. So those rocks, those big rocks right there, is the highest part. That's why we didn't touch that part. That's the highest part the creek or the pond ever gets, this pond, when in the dead of the winter. So we got to be, I'm going to put the wheel about four to six inches above those rocks. So from those rocks, I'll measure up four feet, cut all those posts off at that, and then uh, put my uh, four by six header on there. Be good to go. Water wheel built on the rack. I just put a hose on it. We pump water out of this pond for irrigation. So I just put the hose on it and it was doing about one rotation every second, maybe second and a quarter. So I might have to slow it down. Um, we're not ready. We haven't bought the, built the flume yet, but it's on. And... Uh, it's still rolling. I quit putting water on it. Well, see, I turned the water off quite a while ago. So pretty well balanced. I did have, when it was just sitting there, it was rotating a little bit back and forth. So I put on a couple of those shorter boards that are in there. I put, if I can stop this thing. Jeez. Okay, so that's our star. Hose dumping on it, you can see how it's going. We just started it. Be quite a bit of spray off. Lift your hose up a little bit higher on the wheel. There you go. No, that's too much. There you go. Kicking out the back end too. Let's see, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. So three seconds per rotation right now. Okay, this back overhanging part, that is where the motor is going to sit. I'll have two pieces of, of uh, channel metal that are going this way. So I can adjust this way and then Two of them going this way, the generator will sit on so I can line them up perfectly with that with that wheel right there with the lower smaller reel. That's five and a half feet. The reel itself is seven and a half feet. Those are pilly, <laughs> pillow uh, bearings. Anyway, excited to see how it does with the generator on it. 